This is Brad from Mr. Milano. Stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to learn how I make the insalata de filetto. And this is Brad from Mr. Milano. And what I'm going to explain to you is this very simple salad, insalata de filetto, filet salad. Now, the first part of the salad is the arugula. I can't stress this enough. You what does arugula look like? Is this it? It's baby bok choy. What is this? Trust this enough. You need a strong. You want vodka. a glass of wine? Do you want a glass of wine? Little test. Little little test. Little. That's disgusting. Little test. <coughs> the arugula, it's important that it's crisp. It's crisp. No, nowhere near yellow. No, nice and nowhere near yellow. Spicy. It needs to uh, complement the rest of the ingredients. Yeah. Now, the first thing that we're going to do. That's not the first the thing. Pan. You need to make sure that the pan is. Fuck, Brad. Probably should have said heat the pan first off. Heat the pan. He didn't say what to. Very, very hot. Very, very hot. Very, very hot. Uh, there you go. If you have your pan at a, a medium heat, a low heat, creeping up to hot, the meat's going to be, it's going it's to be chewy. It's going to be chewy. We're going to put a little bit of oil in. It's going to be very hot. A little bit of oil in. It's going to be very hot. A little bit of oil. Just a little bit of oil. Just, just a little bit. Just, just, just a little bit. Ah, uh, should be a spokesperson. Okay. Oh, it's like I'm actually a chef. Put your tenderloin in. My tenderloin? Brad, you should tell people to get, make sure you have all the ingredients before. Oh, baby. I probably should have cut them first. them in. Now we put our chunks of meat in. Okay. Okay. I hope it doesn't scald me. Oh! Tell me what to do now, Brad! A little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper. A little, little bit of pepper. Oh! A little bit of salt. Give that a nice stir. The reduction? What is a reduction? Fractions! I'll just add more salt. It's about cooked. It's about cooked. How can the only you... Thing you do before you put the steak in? You need to put the cherry tomatoes on top. Oh, awesome. Cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. How about strawberries? Brad. It's a good looking salad. It's a sexy salad. enough. Now when you're putting the steak in, you need to make sure that you don't put a lot of oil in. If you put a lot of oil, it's going to eat away at the arugula and you're not really going to have a great salad. Awesome. Oh, that's the money shot right there. <laughs> Smells delicious though. Don't want to put a lot of oil in or it's going to eat away at my salad. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, don't want to put a lot of oil in. Man, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Nailed it. Nailed it. Gordon Ramsay would so be now proud. Now the taste of the meat. Put some walnuts on top. Walnuts? Make sure you mix up your vinaigrette. Uh, ooh. 
This is a kind of nuts. Peanut butter. I don't know what I was expecting. Those look like walnuts. You vinaigrette, you vinaigrette, you vinaigrette, mix it up, mix it up. Oh. <laughs> Where's my own Food Network cooking show? That's what I want to know. So, Finito. This is how we make the insalata de filetto. For you Americans, the filet salad. Thank you very much for watching. He didn't even say to toss it. Let's enjoy this. to get some of that hot dog in there. That's beautiful. Uh, <laughs> why, Brad, why? I don't know what I was expecting. The twenty thousand dollar salad. Ugh.